Oh shoot. It's me, Mom. It's me. Oh my baby. Oh my baby. Oh my baby. What is Dad doing? Get Mom out of here. What? She already took the poison, didn't she? Well, you forced it on her, girl. I can't take the killing anymore. It needs to end. Sarah! If you want to be with your family so badly, they can join you in eternity. Sarah! Get the hell away from my daughter. Don't get right next. I just about to say, you stupid. Live or die. It's up to you. He's not going to kill her. Please. Sarah? Come on, stay. Not again. Sorry, I didn't think she was really going to die. <laughs> Does she have the authority to release her? Like in the league, does she have that authority? I know she's the daughter of the leader, but... Is that Laurel? For the past year, I have stood by your side. And I've fought. Because I wanted to believe that you weren't this monster and i needed to believe that i still had a mother you do <laughs> oliver i only lied about thea to protect her from malcolm no he, he lied because that is what you do and that is who you are mom lies and now you've made a liar out of me because thea could never find out about merlin and she could never know the truth about us Which is that as of right now, we have no relationship. You and I are done. Oliver. Oliver. Give him space. I think that'll change in time. But I don't, I don't blame him, really. I know you're angry. And you have every right to be. Please don't take this out on Dad. If you need someone to blame you, blame me. Oh, I do blame you, Sarah. You got on that stupid boat with my boyfriend. You didn't call us to tell us that you were still alive, even though it probably would have saved mom and dad's marriage. And you brought some crazy assassin to Starling City who nearly killed mom and who poisoned me. You, you stole my whole life away from me. Now get out. Laurel, get out. Lil has the right to be pissed off right now. Just let her go through her anger. Sorry. I said get out! And truth is, is anger she never got Please, come to, in. like, deal with because Sarah, you know, she died, so. Tell me all over is okay. Tell me everything's okay. I wish I could. Well, I'm so sorry about Robert. Off. So at this point, they don't even know Sarah was on the boat, right? Um, I need to tell you both something. Yeah, they didn't even know Sarah was there. What is it? Sarah. You're Sarah. I'm so sorry, Quentin. The dock master saw her sneak on board. And Laurel wasn't as thrilled to see me as you thought. Give her time. I gave her six years. Yeah, but she never got to work out her issues with you. So what now? 
I don't know. No, please don't. I hope they don't hook up. Please don't hook up. I'm home. No! <laughs> <sighs> All right. So disappointed by the end. Uh, it's all coming though. It was so obvious. Uh, all right. So Oliver's poking up with Sarah. <sighs> but anyway, besides that very disappointing ending, uh, this was a good episode. I enjoyed it. Um, found out that Sarah had a relationship with uh, Ra's al Ghul's daughter. Now, when she showed up at the airport, the daughter, I kind of like, then I don't know, for some reason the name sounded familiar. And then I was like, I thought that she was Ra's al Ghul. Okay. And that's why I said that, you know, I thought it was a guy, but I guess maybe it's a girl, but. It, he is a guy. This is just his daughter. So, um, I was wrong about my assumption there. Slightly. Um, but anyway, so she was sent there by him to get Sarah to come back. And when Sarah refused, uh, she took Sarah's mother to force her to make the decision to come back. I don't know why she thought that I don't know. It's just like the daughter thought. I don't remember her first name. Um, it seemed like she thought that if she came back that they still have a relationship. Um, I don't know why she thought that though because Sarah made it clear that she didn't love her anymore. So it's like she was trying to force a relationship that wasn't there anymore. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so Sarah uh tried to kill herself which is what i thought she was trying to do like they assumed that she was going to try and kill kill the the daughter but i i didn't think that because it's like that'd be like a really bad idea <laughs> because if she is this guy's daughter he's gonna like this and everybody um after her so uh i was right that she was gonna just kill herself but uh, Oliver was able to save her, and the woman said that she releases her from the League. Now, I don't know if she has that authority. I don't know if her father's going to be okay with that, um, but I'm pretty sure we haven't seen the end of the League yet. Uh, so, Sarah is revealed to everyone as being alive, so her mother and her sister know. Her mom was happy, uh, Moral, not so much. I don't really blame her um, because she never really got... Because when Sarah died, okay, and she found out that she died by cheating with Oliver, and um, she never got to deal with that, the fact that her sister was sleeping with her boyfriend. So she she didn't get to deal deal with that with Sarah. Like she didn't get to have it out with her or anything like that. So now that Sarah's back, it's like, you know, now it's now like she can she can like take it out on her, you know, her anger and everything that she probably had when she found out has now come back because she can actually deal with it now. Um so I don't really blame Laurel for being angry and kicking her out. Um I think in time that you know she'll come around but right now i think that laurel needs needs to have you know needs to deal with this anger that's been you know probably stewing inside of her for however long like five five six years i can't remember but anyway um they're also felicity found out about uh, Thea found out the truth by because she uh, heard that like she found out that, that the Tempest you know money was being transferred whatever anyway she found out it was used to pay off Thea's uh, doctor the one who delivered her 
And uh, she just, you know, Felicity's smart. She put two and two together, figured it out, confronted Moira about it. And then Moira was like, you know, if you tell Oliver, he's just going to be mad at you. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, like, Oliver wouldn't be angry if, you know, he found out about the uh, another way and then found out that Felicity knew about it and didn't tell him. I think that would be worse. Um, so Felicity was like really struggling with what to do because she didn't want to lose Oliver because she cares about him. And, uh, in the end she told him and I'm glad she did. I thought she should. I mean, I didn't know she should necessarily tell, tell him the whole truth or just tell him that, you know, his mom is hiding something and, and kind of lead him in the direction of the truth, but not actually tell him the truth. But she actually told him the truth. I don't think she did it at the right time because it was like right before he was going to announce his mother um, as a candidate for mayor or whatever. So he was like really struggling to get out positive words <laughs> about his mom, but he did it in the end. And um, he could talk to his mom at the end of the episode and pretty much told her that he wants nothing to do with her. In their like private life, but in public eye, he'll still be the loving son. And in front of Thea, he'll be the same way because uh, he doesn't want Thea to know either, which is kind of weird that he's so angry at his mom for wanting to keep that from Thea when he's doing the exact same thing. Just going to put that out there. But yeah, Moira really pissed me off this episode because of the way she threatened Felicity. And then, like, when they, like, before she told Oliver, Moira was, like, giving her the evil eye and, like, this, like, superior look um, at her. And it just really pissed me off because, you know, I love Felicity. And I don't like the way she was being treated by Moira in this episode. Um, and I think that's why it bothers me so much that Oliver just hooked up with Sarah because I don't want him with anybody else. And I just, the Sarah thing's not going to last. It's not going to last. There's no way him and Sarah can have a relationship and Sarah and Laura still have a relationship in the future. There is absolutely no way, no way that's going to work. So, but anyway, they're just both lonely and, and whatever. And Oliver doesn't want, he told Felicity as much that he doesn't want a relationship with somebody he could care about. So, because of who he is, but does that mean that he doesn't really care about Sarah? And that's why he's hooking up with her. I don't know. I don't know, but anyway, I enjoyed the episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions and anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.